Every day, this state is releasing new numbers on the coronavirus, and it can be hard to put those figures into perspective. But one Colorado man is using technology to make those numbers easier to understand. Denver 7's Liz Gillardi shows us how this technology is not only helping local governments, but it's honoring loved ones lost in the pandemic. The world is watching this map showing how coronavirus is spreading. The difference since early March is stark. That's using our technology too. Jeremiah Lindemann is a Colorado-based engineer for Esri, and he's busy making templates for maps that will be used to display coronavirus data. As Lindemann continues building templates for maps, lately he's working on a hyper-local level with several government agencies and health departments right here in Colorado. Mesa County, Route County, a couple examples of they're just taking the, the templates and mapping cases, uh, looking at uh, uh, things in more detail. Douglas County is mapping cases, deaths and hospitalizations, breaking down the data by communities like Highlands Ranch and Castle Rock. And Route County is using the technology to survey residents for symptoms of coronavirus. Other governments and health departments are mapping testing sites or keeping track of PPE inventory. People relate to things much more when, when they can see it's, oh yeah, it's in my community and it's here rather than you're just seeing a bar graph or something or numbers coming out. We interviewed Lindemann back in 2017, highlighting his project to map opioid deaths after losing his little brother to an overdose. Now he's working with a nonprofit called GIS Core to map coronavirus related deaths, putting a face on this pandemic during a time when people are forced to mourn alone. This might be a way that it can help tell some of those stories, but also just help you know some of the families kind of share that it's not what some of those perceptions have been or that it's you know just a bunch of old people or, or just you know, people with you know pre-existing conditions. Important technology that is helping us visualize the pandemic and see past the statistics. Liz Gillardi, Denver 7.